Okay, here we are at the 13th Science to Business Marketing Conference in Winterthur in uh, Switzerland, and we're speaking with Frank Hannick, the Deputy Head of the Institute of Marketing Management within the Zurich University of Applied Sciences, and they are the host of the Science to Business Marketing Conference. And the first question, I guess, is uh, why did the Institute want to take on this role as the conference host? We feel very honoured to... Um to um, host this conference with a 13-year tradition for the first time in Switzerland and really the, the topic how to work better between funding agencies, industry and science is really at the heart what is important for the, us, what we want to do. In a sense we are practitioners in this conference and not, not scientists or researchers mainly. So and we ourselves are thinking all the time about new possibilities to do this more efficient, more valuable, creating more value for businesses, for the university and for society. And you mentioned some key stakeholders in the process um, when we're talking about innovation and we're talking um, universities, we're talking a business. Um, we, we noticed that this, this conference seems to have a number of business participants. How important was that for the conference or the, the success of the conference? Well, at first I, I think it's, it's only uh, sensible to, if you want to talk about business and research cooperation between industry and universities, to have all three groups that are relevant present. And so we are quite proud that we achieved a, a sizable part of the participants from industry. It's, uh, we had to change marketing and contents of the conference quite a bit. One thing we did is that we integrated much more workshops so that they really there's a live cooperation and um, result is achieved in a cooperation, but also that you can take really practical skills from the conference, like how can I better organize transnational corporations and really discuss that on a real life example and and to the to the networking connected to it find new partners and i'm very happy that we succeeded to to take big steps in that direction and notoriously it is not so easy to always bring uh, academics and business to together what do you see as the success factors in getting the two together um, to communicate differently uh, slightly different things are relevant for the different groups which is uh, how to typically the, the same thing is you have to um, succeed to get your boss to finance the conference and for scientists that is you uh, achieve that your paper is accepted and you present it and for companies it's that you, you have a direct value for the companies to, um, to give up two working days for the conference. It's not the, the way businesses work nowadays is directly in the other direction that a lot less seminars, conferences are financed by businesses and they try to do much more virtual over, over social media and, and things like Skype conferences, video conferences instead of going to a place externally. Now you have a background in service marketing and CRM. What has marketing got to do with uh, science to business? Well, I think we, from the marketing side, we have a pole position to, to foster this cooperation because it's natural to marketing people or customer relationship management is my personal focus um, to think about what the customer needs and wants. And so like this, it's also easier to think about what an industry partner needs and, and wants from, from the cooperation. And so we can also do it ourselves, but also help others to be successful. And the mindset of universities has changed quite a bit. The, the feeling that they have to acquire third-party money is much more present nowadays and also that they want to directly cooperate with companies and uh, this way the, the topic science marketing has become a much more important topic. Okay, and uh, taking that into the uh, customer relationship management, are you seeing more evidence that universities are, are entering into relationships with business? Yes, much more that, that they have uh, tech transfer, business development uh, positions, for instance, also as well in, in, also in small and non-technical universities is one sign of that, but also on a 
much more granular level that every single center has, has its activities in this area. It's a very, very nice development. I, I like to see that, that it's done a lot more.